Yeah, my name is Vera Marini Poister. I am a local artist, a teacher, and an advocate for the arts in Arkansas. My mom was a patient in Northwest Arkansas at Cartai there and going through her journey and seeing, you know, what that was like really um, was my first um, try or, or, or ran about in the journey of, of cancer. And so then this last year I had a couple of friends that had cancer and after I was going through that journey with them I started thinking about, you know, what could I do to actually help in the community with the gifts I've been given. I have seen it over and over again with patients in healthcare where they came and they were not doing well. And then it's, it's almost uh, that being childlike really spuns off a, you know, a wonderful feeling. And the more you do it, the more you learn how to cope. I really like for people to be engaged and I want it to be fun and I want us to have a good time. Usually we start doing a contour, a blind contour drawing where we look, pick a patient or a person across from the, in the room and, and quickly draw them in maybe a minute or two. And those are always fun because it's always a surprise. You don't look at the paper, you're just drawing by looking at the person. So I want um, the patients to think about what, what's going on in their life, you know, maybe what does hope look like? What, uh, how are you feeling today? Pick a photo of, that describes how you're feeling like, and let's make a collage with it or create something in paint. Healing is creating a safe space for people to reflect. Uh, healing can happen in a variety of ways. And a lot of times uh, it's, it's giving ourselves permission to be where we are. And so uh, what I love about art is that art gives us that vehicle to be able to do that. We're not here to try to be Picasso's, we're just trying to learn a skill. And it's kind of like riding a bike. When you get into a bicycle and you start going down the road, you don't first know what you're doing and you're falling off. And then eventually you're on it and you really don't know how you're doing it, but you're going down the road. So painting is kind of the same way. You just, the more you do it, the better you get at it. And so if you have, you know, the willingness to stick it out, you know, amazing things happen. You can find ways to to cope differently with whatever's going on at the moment and that you find moments of joy, moments of wonder and moments of ease uh, because I think that it's all in us, it's just bringing it out and, and using it. So it's been clinic clinically proven that creating and exploring has this efficacy um, I think it's again being in a like a childlike manner that either re releases endorphins in, in our bodies and give us a calm, calm feeling. And so oftentimes what patients experience is that in the beginning there's a struggle and then you just kind of let it go and then you're just ah, at ease. And so that's what I love to, to share with people. My name is Vera Marie de Poister. I am an artist, a teacher, and an advocate for the arts in Arkansas. I am super excited that Carta will soon begin Healing Arts at the Bridge. Come on Thursdays and explore with me.